Welcome back to Electric Vehicles channel, my dear friends. I am Krishnjitinya Mandela. I am here with the owner of Tata Nexon EV, Mr. Anirudh with us. So, he is going to share his ownership experience with us. Firstly, Mr. Andrew, thanks for uh, coming to Electric Vehicle Channel. You are most welcome and I am even thankful to you for giving this wonderful opportunity to even share my input to the lot of users, your channel subscribers especially. So, I will start with a common question. Every common man having a particular line for a car, they will go for mostly 2 lakh rupees up to 6 lakh rupees. Because in India so far, car is not a need, it's just a status symbol. In that particular occasion, to whom will you suggest Tata Nexon electric car? I feel like now petrol prices are increasing, right? So uh, instead of buying, uh, because everyone are buying e everything using EMI. So I suggest keep the amount of petrol to EMI and buy this. You will feel that you can carry your family everywhere, wherever you go. That's my suggestion to buy this. And one more question to you as a common man. Anybody who want to shift from a petrol or diesel car into electric, they have some certain assumptions that these electric cars will struck in the middle of the journey. For example, you have a family and you went for a long, long drive and in the middle of the journey, like 200 kilometers, all of a sudden the car wrecked. And what will you do? So for these kinds of issues, we have to plan our journey accordingly. So the maximum range which we can get from this EV is 290 to 300. So we have to take a lot of halts, like we have to take a lot of breaks and uh, charge the vehicle as a top-ups and then um, continue our journey. So you don't want to suggest this electric car to someone who want to go for a long drive without any gaps, halts like that? So first thing is the EV owners, they should be a lot of patience, not like a regular one, just pour the petrol and just go, go for a long ride. So for this thing, we have to uh, charge the vehicle, check the battery status, keep the, uh, the load very less, keep the range between 50 to 60 kilometers per hour so that you can get the maximum ex efficiency. And that will have a lot of charging stations in out, uh, if you are going for highways. If you stop at any of the charging station, have a snack or a break, within one hour the car would be full. Again you will be getting a 300 more range. You want the second car again, you earlier you were using a petrol, petrol car. car. Okay. Yes. So take your case, for example, you own a petrol car and uh, all of a sudden you need some money. Mm -hmm. So you can sell it and you will get some kind of whatever the money you will get. But Take for an example Nexon EV, mm -hmm. on this spot if you are going to sell this electric car, how many how many people will buy this? Because the, this is also one more assumption to the common man, electric vehicle don't have resale value. Uh, yeah, yeah, you are correct, like resale value is, now it is not there, but down the line after 5 years I am sure everyone will prefer electric EVs. Uh, because of the, the rates we are having and the economy, Service how it starts. is going on. So, uh, down the line after 5 years, uh, we can resell the car for the, at least for uh, maybe for 60% or 50% we can get it for easily. Uh, maybe we can ex exchange with the showroom as well if we want money. And moreover the service, the service cost is completely free. So my first service is done, zero rupees, nothing. So it's a one-time invest investment and that's it. It's like a toy car. Okay, I will ask you one more question. Generally, people who are shifting from a petrol vehicle car into electric car, they have some certain kind of expectations because they might buy one 2 lakh rupees second hand car and they are happy to invest 5 lakh rupees of petrol or diesel in it because most of the user right now, they go for a long drive once in a month. Yes. But next on EV, you need to spend around 15 lakh rupees. So, so to particular audience, will you going to suggest the electric car for regular users or people who go for a long, long drive once in a month? So I suggest for everyone. First, I recommend them to go for the showroom, test out the vehicle, know the details, and then you can decide whether you want to take it or not. Everyone who uses car regularly, it is the best option for you uh, to have it because we will not uh, the people who travel once in a while, maybe they can also buy it, but, but the thing is they have, they should have proper planning uh, to charge the vehicle fully and again start their journey. Whereas if the regular users, they can take it easily because of uh, the petrol usage is less, low maintenance. Coming to Tata Nexon EV, for example, if someone, some particular ex viewer is watching this uh, video right now and they have 15 lakh rupees in their pocket. So, 
will they blindly go for this Tata Nexon EV after watching Anirudh review? Yes, definitely. Since a lot of people are not get, uh, getting, even they don't know that it's an electric car, there is an electric car in the Tata Nexon brand. They don't know. Even you can't, you can see, there's no ad in the, even the televisions or any kind of uh, other ads. So we come to know only by seeing the videos. If we see the video and go and uh, check the car details and specifications and everything. So you are feeling Tata Nexon EV is value for money? Exactly. Value for money, only one time in investment. Forget, only just invest one time and you'll forget everything. You'll forget the maintenance, running cost, everything would be coming under your uh, car, car cost itself. Again, common people having a small doubt, like their power bill will be high. If they're going to buy an electric car, they need to spend money on the power bill. So what is the power bill for you? So for uh, charging the car for nearly a month, I'm getting approximately 700 to 1000 rupees, not more than that. So if you take a uh, thousand rupees of uh, few, uh, uh, power, uh, traveling around thousand kilometers, approximately thousand to nine hundred. So it's more cheaper, right? I'm getting only one rupee per kilometer. That is more cheaper compared to petrol. If you want to tank full of petrol or diesel, you can know it. Right now, it's taking around four thousand to five thousand at current rates. So that is more cheaper, right? So coming to Tata Nexon EV, the company is officially claimed to have a 312 kilometers of range in the certified ARA range. Have you go for a long drive in Tata Nexon EV? What is the longest range you have driven for? Yes, longest uh, range is uh, with full load. With my parents, family, complete family and children, it gave me around 240 kilometers on uh, with mixed mode, sports mode, dry mode and everything. Even hill, I have even climbed hill where I have not faced any kind of problems, power lacks or anything. It gave me a good performance, good mileage. So do you think electric cars are suitable for hilly areas? Yes, obviously. You can feel the power and you can uh, instantly get that kind of uh, torque uh, if you are going on a hilly, uh, hilly places. The sports mode will help at that places. Coming to Nexon EV, the company claimed to have a top speed of 120 km per hour. Have you reached the top speed so far? Yes, I have reached the top speed and it was correct. If you are riding a single uh, person, it might be going to 125 km. That's the maximum speed which we can get from this Nexon EV. In your Tata Nexon EV journey so far, what are the main positives and negatives you have observed in this electric car? Positives, obviously the build quality. The quality is so good that you like it and you... Next thing is the range. In city conditions, the 300 kilometers range is more than enough, not even 300, we can assume that it's a 200. 200 kilometers is more than enough for a regular commute. And next thing is uh, the charging stations. It's our home, like you can, I have extension cable, so I charge at my home friend's is house. Home is my charging station. I charge at my friend's place or my uh, other cousin's place and I don't have any charging issues right now. And uh, coming to the other comfort is where the right comfort. You, uh, you feel like it's in a, if you are sitting at home and going in a, in a sofa, you don't feel that vibrations, noise or anything. Comfort is 100% satisfied with this car. What about the negatives? I think definitely any electric car used to have some negative points or else some improvements. Exactly. So ne coming to the negatives, the range, if, if at all, if it could be 500, I would be more satisfied since we can plan our journey accordingly. Then maybe you don't go for it. If it is 500 kilometer, definitely the price will be a little higher. So basically, customer should get an option. Uh, with two variants. One is with the 300, other one is the 500 range. If we get an option, I will definitely choose a 500 uh, range uh, battery pack. Apart from the range, what are the negatives in this? If we are getting any technique, sometimes what happens is, if you are moving fastly and uh, doing a fast charge, and uh, sometimes you get a technical error uh, prompt on the display. Okay. So in that case, what exactly we need to do is, we need to turn off the engine. Uh, there would be a spanner in the boot space, we have to remove that and remove the negative terminal of the battery which goes for the audio systems and other things. In general cars, you have the battery, right? At your engine point. That one, if you remove it, uh, wait for 10 minutes and keep the uh, negative terminal again and uh, the car will start. The other thing is the cruise control. A lot of cars, we are buying it for this file. If at all, if the cruise control is there, the car would be, uh, would be more comfortable. The journey would be more comfortable. That is the only thing which I recommend Tata people to go ahead and uh, do it. And the other pa uh, pa good part is the customer service. Again, uh, you are spending around 15 to 16 lakh rupees on this electric car and definitely you will expect some good features in this. Yes. Are you satisfied with the features? Is it value for money in particular features? Coming to the features, money, uh, so whatever your spend is worth value for my customer. Since we, it's an auto connected car, you have an internet and a SIM card in this car. You have a Ziptron app where you can remotely start your car, cool your AC or else uh, we can uh, geofence if at all if we are giving any car to someone. We can restrict it to a 10 kilometers and we can diagnose the car. 
whether it's running properly or is there any technical issues we can use the app and we can uh, diagnose it and it's a connected car so even charge if at all if it is charging we come to an sms that the car is so fully how charged is the charging time of this nexon ev with a fast charger and a slow charger at home for so the slow charger it takes 8 hours 8 hours time if you're using a car, uh, charger at your home if it is a fast charging it takes 0 to 100 approximately 1 hour to 10 minutes like that again you have shifted from a petrol car into an electric car what is the main advantage and disadvantage shifting from a petrol car into electric? Obviously the comfort. It's an automatic car first, no, no tiredness, no traffic, uh, nothing. Even if you're having a traffic, you feel that, take your own time, no problem. What is the disadvantage shifting from petrol to electric? Uh, disadvantage is obviously the range. If you're planning for a 700 kilometers, the range is very less. So finally, how much you spend on this Tata Nexon EV electric car and what is the warranty they provided with you? And are you satisfied with the service offered by Tata? So coming to the price, on-road price, this is a mid-variant XZ Plus. I got it around 16.8 lakhs and I'm fully satisfied with this uh, customer service, the car review, performance and everything. And uh, I recommend a lot of people to go ahead and try uh, test ride the vehicle. If they are not uh, have that much of budget, even we have a subscription plan so that we can subscribe like an EMI if we pay it just like in US and Canada we have a subscription plan in India even in India yeah. we can go ahead and use that plan so that uh, if you feel you are not uh, comfortable or done you can get in the car and uh, just take in petrol or EV What's other the car warranty? Uh, the warranty of the car would be eight, 8 years for the battery and motor and other uh, electrical parts it will uh, 3 years warranty so that's the complete ownership review about Tata Nexon EV from Mr. Anirudh he bought this electric car for 16 lakh 80 thousand rupees and this is the mid variant and he didn't absorb much negatives in this electric car except the range maybe Tata can uh, extend the range but again it will be a little expensive if the battery pack started extended otherwise he's recommending this electric car to everyone even to the starters also so that's the complete ownership review about Tata Nexon EV. And viewers, if you want to share your ownership review with us, we will share a form link in the description. Please fill the form and we'll come to you and take the ownership review from you. For genuine information about electric vehicles, please subscribe to Electric Vehicle channel. Go green, go electric, like and subscribe.